Today is March 6th of 2022, and we are looking at a 2021 Kubota B2601. It has the LA435 SwiftTec front end loader attachment. If you are watching this video, it could be because you might be having problems with your stand. Um, I'm going to call it a leg or arm. Um, being forced down and it happens when you roll the bucket back the bucket makes contact with this bolt up here forces the arm down bends this guy down at first I thought it was a root or a branch because I was working around some uh, branches so I just went to the store and I replaced this guy and I brought two or three of them with me just in case this is a number eight or eight millimeter but you just gotta make sure that you match the thread because there's different kinds of threads in the eight millimeter size okay um, so this is how it's supposed to be when it's in the up position it should be hanging from here and this guy from here but for right now i've got this ring on there because i'm going to uh, hopefully try and demonstrate and teach you how you might be able to fix your problem okay so let me see i need my pointer tool okay so i'm going to use my k-bar these are the tools that uh, i'm using okay so the large bolt these guys are 22s this is a 14 you will need to take this guy off all right but here's what i discovered uh after looking at this problem you roll the bucket back and this portion of the bucket makes contact with the head of this bolt on the other side forces this entire system down causing damage to this member right here all right and I discovered there's a lot of wiggle room here this moves freely and this one up here right there is very loose okay both of those are supposed to be loose but only loose enough to where this entire system free falls when you disengage this from down there when you disengage this system your bucket is going to move this guy out of the way of this pin we're going to call it a pin and this system is going to free fall so you do need to have a little bit of free play right here but not that Okay, there's another thing that I discovered. Aside from these being too loose, oh, and this one I found out was loose. So that's what I meant by I think it worked up to being a problem since they delivered it till the problem happened. This side I have not been able to break free so, so that I can tighten it a little bit more because there is a lot of wiggle room in here but there is a bushing in here that i discovered is missing right here and as you can see this is flush all the way through and what's holding the leg or the arm to this piece right here is this little 14 millimeter in here so you tighten this and it brings this up against this or in this case it tightens this up against this and that bushing that bushing is pushing this away from this so if the bushing pushes this away from this it also pushes this away from this which is the same part that is pushing down 
on our bolt. This is the same member. All of this is the same member and it's pushing this bolt at this point right here. So the way I am fixing this is, oh, here's another thing. This side, I'm going to put my camera on my up here. So there's a lot of room, I mean, a lot of free play right there, right there, where my nail is, right there. And it's the same on this side right here. So right here we have a snap ring. Right here that needs to come off. When you take this snap ring off, you this, this whole system can come out and now you can put a bushing in there if you need a bushing. In my case, I am pushing a bushing, I am placing a bushing in there to, to eliminate some of this free play, but you need to leave enough room on this side so that the snap ring falls back in the groove all the way around. That's very important. You're going to have catastrophic failure if this does not fit in there properly. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 14 millimeter out to get this away from this and put the, the bushing in there that's missing. I'm assuming it's missing from the factory. This has not been taken apart. This is how it came from the factory and there's no free play in here. Okay. So this is what I got. This is from tractor supply. I'm sure you can find it somewhere else. The big one is a uh, one and a quarter inch. The small one is a seven eighths. At first, I didn't have access to this guy. So I made a spacer out of a one and a quarter inch PVC coupling. Not a pipe, but a coupling gives you that same diameter and it fits in there around the big one, not the little one, around the big one, but in between here. That pushes this away from the bucket, which pushes the entire system away from the bucket. And the, uh, the smaller bushing, the 7 8 bushing, this one is going to go in there. So what are we doing here? One, I'm putting a spacer slash bushing slash washer in here. And this can be pretty thick. You can use one, two, three. And the reason you can do that is because it can stick out past this quite a bit without interfering with your snap ring. And if we look over here on this side, this one, because of that spacer that's in here, is protruding out this way from this bigger portion of the pin. That's because it doesn't interfere with a snap ring, so it can be protruding out this way past it, without, and you can still lock your snap ring in there. So... You got plenty of room to play, and that's good. But on this, in the other thing I'm doing, that, that's number one. Number two, I'm putting a bushing to take up this space right here. But just remember, it can only be thick enough to where you can still replace your snap ring where it goes. So that's one, two, and number three, we need to tighten these nuts up against this only tighten them enough to where there's to where this can free fall so it's one and in my case two and tighten these three 
and there's there's three bolts i mean th two nuts there's one in there and one on the outside the first one you're gonna tighten so that it takes up the slack from that washer jiggling so much and then once you have it t hand tighten it then loosen it just just a bit and then you tighten this up against that one and that's how we're fixing the problem i hope uh this uh this has answered some questions that you might have um if you didn't know what was going on this is what's happening with mine and uh, in my case i have not been able to break this one free yet so i'm going to get my breaker bar hopefully i won't strip anything i think uh they there's proof that they used uh um no one of these uh too much uh or maybe uh the stronger more permanent or permanent thread locker because these do have evidence of thread locker in there so whatever you do use thread locker especially on this one because it, it's not a nylon not like this one this one if it breaks free it's coming off and like i said this is how i found it okay so you do want to use thread lock on this one this one i would i go as far as even using it on this one right here so good luck and i hope this uh solves any issues you might be having